Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionitis, where medicine makes perfect sense. We continue our bleeding and coagulation series. In previous videos, we have talked about Bernard Solier syndrome, as well as Glenzman thrombasthenia. Today, we'll compare between the two. So, let's get started. First, what's the difference between GP1B and GP2B3A? GP1B is the same thing as GP1B95 or CD42. How about GP2B3A? It's the same thing as platelet integrin or integrin, it's also known as alpha 2b beta 3. It's also the integrin alpha 2b beta 3. How about the location? It's part of the glycoprotein coat. Same thing here. The function GP1b adhesion, GP2b3a aggregation. Adhesion between what? Between the platelet and the endothelium. How about aggregation between the platelet and another platelet? Disease, GP1B is involved in or deficient in bernard solier syndrome. How about GP2B3A? You have Glenzman thrombosthenia, ITP, paraproteinemia, and uremia. So, thrombosthenia, immune thrombocytopenia, paraproteinemia, and even uremia. Love it! Influence, it's not influenced by ADP, but GP2B3A is influenced by ADP. And that's why patients who have Glenzman thrombosthenia, when you give them ADP trying to aggregate their platelet, they do not respond. There are no drugs that inhibit GP1B, but there are many drugs that inhibit GP2B3A. They are called the GP2B3 inhibitors, and they include apsexamab, terofiban, eptifabetide, roxifiban, orofiban. Here is everything that you need to know about bernard solier syndrome. It's congenital, autosomal recessive, infant or child. Problem with GP1B, therefore a problem with platelet adhesion. You have mucocutaneous bleeding. Platelet count is low. Bleeding time is high. Platelet aggregometry is normal with ADP, epinephrine, collagen, and arachidonic acid. But we have decreased aggregation with risk to cetin. Peripheral smear will give us giant platelets. So these platelets are low in number, but high or big in size. We call this macro thrombocytopenia. Big in size, low in number. Treatment, plate transfusion, desmopressin, tranexamic acid, or recombinant factor 7. You can get a 35% discount towards any product on my website, including my new anti-cancer pharmacology course for 18 students only. Go to medicosisperfectsnatus.com. Thank you. Glanzman is also autosomal recessive. But here the problem is in the GP2B3A, so the problem is in aggregation. Clinically same, mucocutaneous. Plate count here is normal. Bleeding time is high, plate aggregometry is the opposite. With ADP, we are abnormal. With risk to season, we're perfect. Peripheral smear, normal size platelets. They are not giant. They are not macro, and they are not even thrombocytopenia. Treatment, plate transfusion, desmopressin, trinexamic acid, recombinant factor 7. When everything hits the fan, go with the hematopoietic stem cell transplant. Let's compare between Bernard Solier and Glenzman. Bernard Solier, congenital, same thing here, congenital. Mode of inheritance, both are autosomal recessive. Other causes, yeah, we have pseudo Bernard Solier, they are antibodies. We have here autoimmune, so it can happen with other autoimmune disease, also antibodies attacking the receptor. How about epidemiology? Usually the patient, the typical presentation is an infant or a child. Same thing here. Pathophysiology, deficiency or defect of GP1B, 9-5. Homozygous, abnormal plate function. Heterozygous, near normal plate function. How about Glenzman? We have deficiency or defect in GP2B3A. Type 1 is very bad, complete deficiency. Type 2, partial deficiency of GP2B3A. The problem in Bernard Solier is with platelet adhesion, but in Glenzman it's with platelet aggregation. Clinically, mucocutaneous bleeding, petechia barbira chemosis, this is the, the cutaneous, and the muco is gingival bleeding, epistaxis, menorrhagia, etc. Glensman, mucocutaneous, very similar. Platelet count, low or normal in Bernard Solier, but it's normal in Glensman. That's why we call this macro thrombocytopenia, but this is neither macro nor thrombocytopenic. How about bleeding time? It's high in both because the platelets suck in either case. PT, PTT, thrombin time, they are normal because the coagulation cascade is normal. These are problems in primary hemostasis, not secondary hemostasis. Peripheral smear and Bernard Solier macro thrombocytopenia, these are giant platelets. However, in Glensman, they are normal sized platelets. There is neither a macro nor a thrombocytopenia. Platelet aggregometry, when you add ADP, you get normal aggregation with Bernard Solier, but low aggregation with Glensman. How about Ristocetin? 
No aggregation of the nozzle but normal with glenzman. So this is a scissors. Like that, baby. Okay, they are the opposite. How about collagen? Collagen is similar to ADP's effect on either one. So if ADP here is normal, collagen will be normal. If ADP here is low, collagen will be low. Management. If the patient has poor platelets, give the patient platelets. Here the platelets are bad also, give platelets. Dismopressin in both because it expresses von Willebrand, it helps with the adhesion. Trinexamic acid, these are antifibrinolytics, we have talked about them before. Recombinant factor 7 can help either one. Hematopoietic stem cell transplant have been tried successfully in Glensman. Mnemonic, Bernard Solier, BS, BS, big suckers. The platelets are big in size, but their function sucks. Bernard Solier has GP1B, B for Bernard, so here is a B and here is a B. How about Glensman thrombostenia? Glensman has an A, the problem is in GP2B3A. There is a more sophisticated way, count the A's, here is an A, another A, and a third A, 3A. The video is not over yet, please help me reach 250,000 subscribers by the end of the month, I'll give you a gift. What are the causes of thrombosthenia? Problem with GP1B such as Bernard Solier. Problem with GP2B3A such as Glensman. Problem with a platelet toxin such as uremia. Drugs such as aspirin on steroids, these are cyclooxygenase inhibitors, specifically cyclooxygenase 1. Clopidogrel, prasugrel, teclopidine, ticagrelor, the famous Brillinta, these are P2Y12 inhibitors. Apsiximab, terofibanib, tefabetide, or bofiban, etc., these are GP2B3A inhibitors. Dipyridamol, silostazole, these are phosphodiesterase inhibitors. I have a premium cardiac pharmacology course that has 50 videos available on my website, medicosisperfectionalist.com. This is from Picmonic website. It's a video. It, this is just a snapshot, but you need to see the video. Bernard Solier. This is the soldier. What's happened here? Autosoma recessive. Here is rhesus or recessive chocolate. In Bernard Solier, there is deficiency of GP1B. So here is the receptor, and this is 1B. There is mucosal bleeding, menorrhagia, and easy bruising. Look at this tampon for menorrhagia, mucosal bleeding, and easy bruising. Large platelets, here's a very large plate. Increase bleeding time, look at this time. Bleeding time is high. There is no platelet agglutination with the Ristocetin. Look at this, they, are not, they, are, they hate each other. How about Glensman? By the way, you can try Picmonic for free, use the link in the description. Glensman, it's autosoma recessive, oh, like. Here is the recessive chocolate, could be also autoimmune. Auto in a moon. There is a problem with platelet aggregation, two plates hating each other, mucous membrane bleeding and easy bruising as you see here. There is increased bleeding time, normal platelet count, please avoid non-steroidals. Also when you do a peripheral smear in Glensman, you'll see no platelet clumping because clumping is by definition an aggregation. Please go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis for hundreds of visual mnemonics. And you can try all of them for free. Question of the day. It's the 21st question. The previous 20 questions are in previous videos in this playlist called Bleeding and Coagulation. What are the diseases that are characterized by the presence of large or giant platelets? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Please go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis and they will hook you up. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.